Well, hello there, Pisces. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, um, you're most welcome. We're going to do your weekly love reading. We're going to be looking at your person, the person that it's on your mind the most, the person that you most need to know about. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I love it. Um, I love all of you for watching as well. Uh, I really appreciate those likes and subscribes. It lets me know that you appreciate what I'm doing, so I will keep doing it for you so you get access to these free readings. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, as you well know. Um, well, some people might not know that. I'm just, just saying, sorry. I was just thinking that everybody knows that, but then actually not everybody does know that. Um, so Pisces, let's have a look at um, how your person is currently thinking and feeling about you. How is Pisces person currently thinking and feeling about them? No, they want me to stop there. Wow. Okay. Some of you could be blocked from this person. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever seen this. You guys, I'll show you this now. Okay. Uh, some of you, I'm just getting the energy here, you could be dealing with a twin flame. Not everybody is, has a twin flame and then, you know, not everybody is going to be dealing with a twin flame. But straight away it's hitting me with that energy. So, um, you know, this, bear that in mind as we go through this. But it's going to apply to a lot of people, I feel, already. So... Yeah, some of you feel as though you could be blocked right now or you may have blocked this person and you're wondering how are they going to get in touch or are they going to unblock you. Um, for others of you here, this person is just acting very like aggressive almost. This person is in defensive energy towards you right now. Um, now, it could be that uh, I'm hearing the word critical. So they could be feeling as though you're somehow judging them, that you've been critical towards them. Um, it's kind of a tense energy that I'm getting here from this person um, towards you right now. Um, I'm hearing birthday. Oh gosh, yes, it's going to be your birthday. It's, I mean, it's going to be your birthday soon, isn't it? It's not right now, but it will be soon. Um, so happy birthday. Um, but it could be this person's birthday, uh, or you could have messaged them on their birthday and not really had a reply. You know, I feel like just here, you're also quite defensive towards this person right now because you feel as though they don't want to know you, that they have disappeared, they've backed off here. Um, but I kind of feel like you're mirroring each other's energy as well. So, you know, how you're feeling, I, I feel as though they are also feeling that way as well. You know, when you think about this person and you get lots of emotions, because you swap energy all the time, even if you, you know, if you're thinking about somebody a lot, you, you could be miles apart, but you still pick up on you know, you collect the energy and you get into their energy as well. And that's how these readings work. We're reading essentially your energy, the energy between the two of you, um, their energy as well. Um, and trying to kind of figure it all out, like who owns what emotions and who owns what thoughts here sometimes. Because straight away then, look, you've got um, eight of wands fast communication this is a hopeful new energy here so this is what they want to do they want to reach out they're definitely juggling between these two energies right now of um being you know i don't want to talk to them to oh i'm desperate to talk to them i don't want to talk to them oh i'm desperate to talk to my person oh i feel like they go they're really wrestling with this right now this could be causing sleepless nights here so for some of you if you've not been in communication with this person I feel like this, this is about to change here um, because they're on this edge. I don't feel as though they can keep this, uh, I, want, I want to say in their pants. I don't feel like they can keep this uh, going for much longer. If this is really playing on their mind too much. It's really plaguing them. It's too heavy for them. Um, 
and typically it doesn't come out as clear as this you know um so having this sort of clarity in what they're experiencing right now is really good it shows that um well it, it shows that uh they're, they're getting ready here they're getting ready we've got here for them as well we've got king of wands so in regards to you they have a certain air of confidence they're very fiery this could be i mean this is all fire here with the wand energy so you could be dealing with an aries a leo or a sagittarius here um it doesn't have to be um but that passionate energy that fire energy is really strong um with them right now especially towards you um this could be why they're so conflicted here um, because they feel in themselves that they're out of control with their emotions, with their passion, with their desire for you. They feel out of control. Um, so they could be, you know, kind of silent here because, you know, until they get that, they feel like they've got some control over that. But this is someone that... You know, they they really like the way that you look. They like the way that you uh, dress even. I'm hearing this, like the clothes that you wear. They, they kind of like your style. It's like you've got a whole look here that you uh, put together. And I'm just hearing they really appreciate it. They really appreciate your style. They they like that. They love that about you. Um. And um, I feel like it makes them crazy at the same time because they, they could be feeling as though they uh, they don't have you, like they really want you, but they don't feel as though you are theirs or, you know, vice versa here. So they don't feel as though they can make these big declarations um, like, oh my gosh, you look amazing today, you look stunning, you're gorgeous, you're beautiful. They may have uh, times here where their desire gets the better of them and it just you get these little compliments slip out um but you know well this person could be complimenting you all the time but they're not really taking any action off the back of that mm. you're driving this person crazy you are driving them crazy Pisces <laughs> that's all right that's okay you're allowed to because you're gorgeous right so let's see what you can expect from this person over the next week what can pisces expect from their person over the next week please see your cards are popping out you're the only sign to do that today what can pisces expect from their person the next seven days please okay no okay <laughs> that did want to pop out there We'll take a look at that just now. Look at this. So we've got Scorpio. We've got Aries just here. And we have Aries again. So yeah, you guys, you could be dealing with Aries. Um, you could be dealing with Scorpio here that has Aries in their chart. Or you could be dealing with an Aries that has Scorpio in their chart. So strong energy here you've got three major arcana for this next week ahead the card on the bottom is the king of cups so it could be a water sign you know it could be another pisces it could be cancer it could be scorpio so oh look at this big transformation here this week big big change in the energy for this connection um so what, how is that going to look though in reality? You have emperor energy and you have the magician. So yeah, for a lot of you, it's the divine masculine energy just here. Um, they, they're, I feel like they're really, you know, when someone's in their divine masculine energy and it's not gender specific, you know, because we have the masculine and feminine energies in all of us. But when you're in that more masculine energy, you are either very stubborn or you can be very action orientated. And I kind of get the sense here from this person that they are being stubborn. 
because here with this king of wands what i was getting from from this energy as well is that this person feels very confident in this connection so in other words they feel confident that they have uh they're holding the ball that they have all the cards you know you know they have all the power essentially they know that they recognize that about this situation um and they could have at times in the past here when they're in this sort of energy they feel as though they're out of control that they don't have the power here um so i feel like they they do flip between those two energies um depending on the time of day the day of the week um you know whatever they might be doing if something could be reminding them of you and it's setting them off here putting them back into this energy um because i feel like they're trying to manifest you this is a card of someone who's waiting for you to come towards them okay um and this is someone who is working hard to manifest you so they could be getting all up in your energy you could be hearing songs you could be um you know you can have these times a day i'm feeling where you're just looking at your phone constantly uh almost like you're checking for a message or you're checking for a missed call or something and it's blank because this person is trying to manifest that phone call with you they want you to come to them um, they're being kind of a bit arrogant here with this. They're being a little bit um, too overconfident, I feel. They have to let go of some of their ego here. So I kind of feel like this week, yes, you've got a big, big change here. I feel like they, they are settling on one of these energies. I feel like they are settling on this eight of wands. So they want to talk to you. They want to communicate. Um, however... They're not picking up the phone here. They are expecting that you are going to do it. So typically, if you're the person that messages them, if you're the one that's always calling them first, this is why they have that expectation here that you're going to call them. Um, and it sounds a bit counterproductive and bizarre because if you, you know, from your point of view, you could have felt as though this person has been breadcrumbing you, that they have been leading you on or giving you very little and then giving you a bit more and then very little again um, in terms of that communication. So you kind of had to be the person that was contacting them first, reaching out, arranging things, organizing things. Um, but what that does, um, you know, and this is what people kind of um oh excuse me i've got hiccups struggle to realize i am i haven't been drinking um is that because when someone is breadcrumbing they're kind of behaving like they they're full of the feminine energy somebody who wants to be chased you know and that's not going to be true in every case every in you know individual situation is unique but oftentimes in the twin flame dynamic the uh, one person that has the strong feminine energy, they are wanting to be chased. So it comes across as breadcrumbing to the other person. Um, but then, you know, so they're always chasing. So when, uh, so they're just quite happy over here thinking, oh, la da 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 da, my person's chasing me. They love me, they love me, they love me. And then all of a sudden you get fed up with that and you move away, you stop chasing them. Or giving into their energy and then they get all defensive like right well why aren't they talking to me um you know i'm i'm gonna be i'm just gonna sit here and be quiet now like i, I think they should start chasing me again because they've always chased me and now they're not chasing so where are they why aren't they calling me um but from your end from your end of things you know you're thinking well, I'm I'm always the one that's chasing. I'm always the one that's picking up the phone. I'm always making the contact. They never reach out to me first. I'm always the person that initiates. Um, so then you stop doing that and you're waiting on them, but they don't realize that also. So you're both waiting on each other, but you, neither of you realize that. So um, for some of you here, yes, you may have to be the person that, you know, says, hi, how are you first? You know, don't go in on the attack there. If you want this person, this connection to uh, kind of come together here, if you want to get that Valentine's date with them, you may have to um, put out, uh, not put out, oh my God, that's terrible. I shouldn't say that. 
put it <laughs> you may have to you know send that text message first or make that phone call um you know to to remind them that you're still there but also to let them know you're still interested and again i feel like for some of you here um you know you you could be feeling as though you don't want to do that because you, you reach out to them and then you kind of sat there waiting for them to ask you something. But, you know, in kind of dating rules, if there are any, I don't think there are anymore. I don't think there should be. Um, but there was those social understandings, aren't there? In the, the reality is you've reached out to them first so they are not going to then take charge here and suddenly say, oh, I'm glad you've called me because I wanted to um, ask you out on a date. Or I really wanted to talk to you um, and, and I've missed you and, and, and all of this. Some people might do that, but it's very rare. What's more likely to happen is you'll reach out, you'll say hi, they'll say hi back, and then there will be no more communication. Um, because you're both, you know, they're waiting for you to ask, you know, let them know why you've contacted them. Um, and you, you've you contacted them hoping that they're going to ask you out. You know, uh, you're not a stray cat. <laughs> uh, you know, you can't turn up at their door here and expect them to feed you. Um, or, or expect them to know that they have to feed you. You, you've got to be bold here, you've got to be dynamic, you've got to be kind of fiery here with this. There's so much fire and energy in this reading. I feel like you could be taking on a bit of that fire energy yourself here over the next week. So um, I will leave this up to you, um, how you want to play this, because obviously it depends on what outcome you want. These are just projections based on the current energy. Um, the tarot will always just say, well, if things continue like this, then this is what you will get. So if you don't want that outcome, then you need to change something um, in your current behavior. So if over this week you don't want to, you know, you continue to want to have no action or change or movement in this situation, then don't do anything. But if you would love to talk to this person and you're prepared to just kind of, um, you know, bite the bullet, be bold, be confident here, be strong, um, then reach out to them and, and say, you know, you don't you don't have to fully express how you're feeling. You can just keep it casual, be like a bit blase, you know. Um simple hi, how are you will do. Um, you know, however you you know, put your own language on it. Um, you know, use your own words, your own love language uh obviously um i have uh well I've, I've written a blog uh this it came out yesterday which is all about manifesting a date for valentine's day um and i've got another one that's coming out next week for um again it's a valentine's day one but it's about uh boosting your confidence okay so even if you do get invited you know if whether you want to invite somebody on a date or whether you're uh, being invited on a date we all need a bit of a confidence boost so there's some uh i'll pop a link in the description there so you can go check that out um when when you're ready uh if you want to <laughs> and um thank you so much for watching this reading take care everybody sending you lots of blessings love and light and i will see you next time